Hello Aquarius, welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're all well wherever you are. This is your reading for the 15th through to the 20, 21st of February uh, 2022 or thereabouts, it could resonate a little bit beyond that time. Uh, it is a general reading uh, Aquarius, it won't resonate with everybody but it certainly will with some. All right, um, let's see, let's see what this means for yourself Aquarius. So what, what's the important message for Aquarius at this time? For Aquarius to consider. What's important for Aquarius? 15th to the 21st, February 2022. Alright, so we have, first of all, we have number 50. Um, now this talks about curiosity, uh, comparisons, perhaps dissatisfaction um, and that's where the curiosity and comparison comes in. You know, breaking away from the usual environment because it doesn't hold the same interest or value for you and, and, and experimenting, trying new, new environments to see what that feels like. All right, so let's see, I'll just pop that to one side and then we have number 23 and this this talks about providing shelter, all right, plain and simple, providing shelter, nurturing, caring, looking after, but providing shelter um, for yourself and for others, okay. Right, we'll get into the um, Gilded Tarot now by Shiri Marachetti. So what is, what does Aquarius need to consider at this time, please? What's the important message for Aquarius? You have the heart of your reading Aquarius, the root of the matter, past influences, what's on your mind at the moment, the future going forward and then something else that your guides would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck we have the King of Wands. Um, this is very much the entrepreneur, um, somebody who's at the top of their game, very very much sees opportunities and goes for them, very fired up, very much a go-getter, lots of energy um, and passion with whatever it is they are doing and looking at. All right, so um, let's see, just pop him to one side. It's not gender specific. So we'll clarify the cards on the table now. So using the Lightseer's Tarot. So could we clarify all of the cards on the table, please, for Aquarius? Clarify all the cards on the table, please, for Aquarius. For Aquarius, please. And at the bottom of the deck this time, we've got the Emperor. Wow, so two quite strong energies here. And the Emperor is very much about, it's a major arcana, Aries energy. Um, and this is very, very much <clears throat> about control, power, autonomy, authority. All right, so we'll see where that comes in. But we've got two very powerful energies on the table at the moment with the King of Wands and the Emperor. You can see the colours are very similar. They're very f much fire fire energies. <coughs> they are also masculine energies, although it's not gender specific. Aquarius. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to have a drink of water. Uh, 
at the heart of your reading, Aquarius, we've got the Seven of Wands and the Moon energy. The Seven of Wands, this is standing your ground, being defending your position um, from others who would want to take over your position or ride roughshod over with their opinions, perhaps, and values and viewpoints. Um, but you, you're, going, you're going to defend yourself, your position, you're standing your ground here. You have the upper, upper hand also. Um, but the clarifier is the moon, Pisces energy, um, a Cancer energy as well. Uh, so this is, something's not clear, something is unclear, it's a bit vague. You're aware of it, you can see it, but it's not clear at this time. And so th that's partly why you're having to defend your position um, while you gain extra clarity. At the root of the matter, we have temperance, which is a Sagittarius energy, and we have the Five of Cups. Um, temperance, um, so this is at the root, this is already in place. Um, temperance is very much about um, patience, moderation, a balance, healing. But as you can see, we've got Ju the planet Jupiter in the background, which is the ruling planet for Sagittarius. Um, so having patience is a, is a difficult energy um, when there's the uh, Jupiter is the planet of expansion and growth. So you, it's like a push-pull for you, I feel. That's what's been happening for you, Aquarius. You're being pushed and pulled in different directions. But the card is asking you to be patient, whereas Jupiter is trying to push you forward. So I feel that's what's been an energy that's been around for a while. Um, now the clarifier is the Five of Cups. And this is being, when you're being, you've been quite preoccupied with uh, something that's slipping away, something that's going. And in fact, you've been trying to stop something, you know, you've been actively trying to stop it from draining away, whatever it is. But it's futile because whatever it is has got to go. It, it, but it leaves you with a sense of loss, the sadness. But you see, it has to go because there's something brand new waiting for you there. And I feel that's where temperance comes in. You know, it's asking you to be patient and to bide your time. Uh, but all the while, you've got this, uh, or like the planet Jupiter that is saying, here I am, here I am, here I am, wanting your attention. So these, these are at the root of the situation, Aquarius. All right, so past influences, we have the Three of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Right, so, okay. So for me as a reader with the Three of Cups, particularly this, this Three of Cups, this is about third party interference. Now, um, third party doesn't have to be a person that comes in between a relationship. It can be an illness. It can be an obsession, an addiction. But there's something in the past that has come in between, it interfered with a relationship and, and placed you into a, a third party situation, scenario. Um, but the clarifies the Four of Pentacles. And this is something you've been keeping close, close to your chest. You've been um, hiding it, if you like, from others. Uh, or protecting it, even. You may have been protecting this from others, you know, to keep it close to your chest. All right. I will say that, you know, the purest meaning of the Three of Cups is about celebration, coming together to celebrate, uh, uh, you know, to celebrate achievements. Um, and victories, yeah, but coming together, um, being very happy and joyful. And if that's the case for some of you, then the four. This is you've been keeping this um, to yourself. You've been keeping this energy uh, to yourself, not sharing it with others. Okay. Take it how it resonates with you. It'll be a little bit different for everybody, Aquarius. 
So what's on your mind at the moment? Okay, we've got the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Swords. So what you're thinking of is a passionate new beginning, a passionate new creative opportunity that you want to grasp with both hands. There is a lot of fire and passion and energy in this in this reading. And we've already had the King of Wands and the Emperor, haven't we? Uh, and Temperance there with Jupiter. So this is what you're thinking about, you know, this an opportunity to grasp that you're feeling quite passionate about. However, it's also giving you fear-based thoughts. So it's on your mind, it's it's going over and over in your mind, keeping you awake at night, that sort of an energy. But it's bigger than what it should be. Um, the fear-based thoughts are magnified um, because they're going over and over in your mind. And it's to do with this new opportunity. It could be a new opportunity for passion for some of you. And I say that because we have the King of Wands and the Emperor here. I feel there's lots of fire energy here on the table, Aquarius. So if you look at the four messages across the top here, the King of Wands, the entrepreneur, you know, the fire, the, the, the go-getter, they've got Jupiter in the background there also, which is about expansion. Uh, and that's right next to the Ace of Wands. And, it, and it's like, there's the King of Wands and there's the wand is holding. Um... So this is almost holding on to, you know, grasping this wand. And it may be to do with passion um, or a new, a passionate new idea, creative idea. But it's creating fear-based thoughts. And it's to do with the Emperor Energy, which is about taking control of a situation, being in control, having the power and autonomy, perhaps to grasp this Ace of Wands, to grasp the wand. But you're certainly having to uh, defend your position, um, stand up for yourself, um, because things are just not 100% not clear at the moment. And it's to do with either um, a third party interference, you know, whether that's um, an illness or somebody else getting in the way of a relationship, but whatever it is, or, or it's celebrating, you know, being joyful, celebrating something, but whatever it is, it's keeping, you're keeping it close to your chest, you're not revealing it, or you haven't revealed it at that time. But then, you know, you're having to defend yourself now, going forward, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Sun energy. All right. Um, the Five of Pentacles is when there's a, an energy. This is a sense of lack, of not having enough. Perhaps having to ask for more here. And light being shed on this situation going forward. So what do your guides want to say? Well, we have the star, that's your energy, Aquarius. This is you, and justice. So the star um, is very much about holding out for hope, having hope, wishing on a star, following your star, achieving harmony and balance and healing. All right, so beautiful energy here. And the clarifier is justice. So the scales need to be balanced here for you. Aquarius. There's an imbalance somewhere. There has been an imbalance somewhere and I feel it's something to do with this Five of Pentacles energy, this sense of lack, not having enough. So, you know, things need to be put right. The needs, injustice needs to be seen to be done here for you um, to bring back, you know, that sense of hope and healing and harmony. But there's also something here about a need, you know, being dissatisfied and wanting to try new environments, new experiences. You know, you're curious, you want to, you, you, you've got a, an energy of wanting to compare.
but also you know there's something here about caring support offering support caring a caring energy offering shelter all right i'm just going to get two final messages for you um aquarius I have two final messages for Aquarius, please, to conclude this reading. Two final messages for Aquarius, please, to conclude this reading. Alright Aquarius, so we have surrendering to the journey, release control and we have wondrous un universe, walk in beauty. So surrender to the journey, you're on the way, you're in the boat, the light is shining by the light of the full moon here. You're being de definitely being guided here, so release control, you know, you're well on the way. Um, I feel you know, justice, whether this is legal justice or this is a karmic justice or some form of legal um, outcome that there's going to be in your favour. But I feel that's already in the pipeline for some of you. So you're on the way, you're on the journey. Release control now. Allow yourself to go in the direction you're being guided. Um, and wondrous universe, walk in beauty. So this is about, you know, magic. It's about the universe having your back, the planets all lining up, the ducks lining up, the planets lining up in your favour. It's a very beautiful and wondrous thing. Right. So trust, you know, uh, release control and allow the universe to guide you in the, in the direction you're going, in the right direction for you, Aquarius. Fantastic. All right, a lovely reading for you. Um, whoever this is for, I hope you can recognise your story here and that it's given you some support and clarity with your situation. But um, good luck going forward. And until next time, bye-bye for now.